So tell me about what makes gamma rays in the universe. Because we know stars make regular light, yep. and we also know black holes in their vicinity, they can heat up the gases and they'll radiate uh, ultraviolet and X-rays. But gamma rays seem to just come from their own places. Yeah, it's the most energetic light that there is, so you need a really super energetic process. So you have to blow something up, or have a huge shock run through an area to accelerate particles to nearly the speed of light. Shock means something very specific mm -hmm. in astrophysics. So tell us about that. Because otherwise, shock, what does shock mean anywhere? <gasps> oh, dear. <laughs> that, oh that, that's not what we mean. Did you see what that black hole did? <laughs> Do. You were shocked by the shock. <laughs> yes. So. so, I mean, simply put, in, in a certain area, there's a, there's a speed of sound. And if you go beyond that, that's a shock. You make a shock. You make a yeah. shock. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You just go beyond it. Like so you need a process that will overtake something as fast as the speed of sound in that medium. That's right. So like an explosion. If a star explodes as a supernova, it'll send a shock wave out through the interstellar medium. Mm -hmm. And that'll bunch up all the gas into high density. It'll mm -hmm. bunch up all the magnetic field. So so let me ask you this. Yeah. Air is the medium through which the shock wave of sound travels, right? Sound that we the are, sound that yeah, we right. that we're doing right now here on Earth here yeah. on Earth. Mm -hmm. So in space, if it's a vacuum, what exactly is the shock traveling on? Good question. Yeah, there's always a little bit of something going on out there. Oh, yeah. And so anytime there's any kind of discontinuity, it, it we would also describe as a shock. And the things that I'm most interested that'll create gamma rays these high energy high energy particles called cosmic rays mm -hmm. they're accelerated by these bunched up shocked up magnetic fields okay there you go that's shocked up that's a that's a state that's a, that is a made up <laughs> phrase shocked up <laughs> just like you jacked yeah, I'm, yeah, shocked. Oh, I'm shocked up baby <laughs> exactly <laughs> tell you right now all right so in that one sentence you you mentioned gamma rays mm -hmm. and cosmic rays and shock waves yeah right all of this and this is high energy phenomenon is where you're coming from here. So what's your best way to create high energy phenomenon? I know we can do it in the, labor in the accelerators. Yeah, right? yeah. So d d does our understanding of the acceler in the accelerator help us in, what in your job? Actually, it really does. Uh -huh. So once we had the uh, Large Hadron Collider going. Mm -hmm. In Switzerland, the, right. the CERN. CERN. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So from the rates of, you know, the bajillions of collisions that they're doing there, uh, we were able to figure out the, the uh, basically the interaction rate of, of protons at those high energies. And that, that made actually my models of those proton-proton collisions in the interstellar medium a little more accurate, uh, which was kind of nice. But we work at way higher energies. Than, we, I mean the universe. The universe, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we. You take credit for the universe. That is the super mega royal we. My people, we. My, my stars, <laughs> my, yeah, that's the royal we if there ever was one. Exactly. I, and so... So you're accelerating protons to much higher energies than even the most powerful accelerators on Earth. Yeah, that's right. Okay. And now they're fast moving. Can a single proton make a shock wave? No, right? What goes on there? No. You need a wave of them. I mean, a yeah, bunch of them. Yeah, you need a bunch of them. And But as long as they find another proton out there, like an ambient proton, which is just a hydrogen atom. Ambient, uh, ambient proton. Right. Yeah, these are the sleepy are the ones. Sleepy. <laughs> The one's not looking. Yeah. With. Ambient. <laughs> Ambient. Okay. <laughs> so if there's just an interstellar cloud out there, it's just hydrogen minding its own business. Just hanging out. Gets whacked by one of these high energy protons. That'll create a bunch of other particles. It's a nuclear reaction. And just like you'd get at the particle accelerators and all these things come out, these pions come out. Some are positively charged. Some are so negative. So they call all those daughter products. Sure. But never sun products. I was wondering. Uh, mm. What? Mm. Daughters very rarely disappoint. Oh, is it, is Sons that, often do. I wonder if it was Marie Curie that did that. Uh, oh, that oh, makes sense. Good one. Interesting. So cool if it was. Yeah. It would be. Yeah. yeah. And it, it's dateable to that point in time, right? Oh, that's, for sure. Because that's when we see the, that's the, 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 the first byproducts. person to see the X-rays. Yeah. Yeah. That's where the alpha, beta, and gamma rays were first named. Yeah. When okay. we didn't know what they were, that's just the right. first three letters of the Greek alphabet. Makes sense. Yeah. So they were just some source of energy moving out of your experiment into somewhere else. So an alpha rays became what? What did we discover those to be? Those are helium nuclei. Yeah, that's kind of weird, but all yeah. right. The nucleus of a helium atom, <laughs> alpha rays, okay? Yeah. We just call them rays, because we didn't know, because yeah. we can't, we couldn't distinguish the energy of a wave from the energy of a particle. Wow. Mm -hmm. Those idiots. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, alpha, beta. 
Turned out to be electrons. Just oh, electrons. Just electrons. Yeah. We go from the helium nucleus right. to, to electron. an electron. Mm-hmm. See, that ain't right. That's, ra- that's alpha beta. wild. They had a really interesting result, though, because they had a, a, a whole bunch of different energies of electrons, of beta rays, would come out. And that led Enrico Fermi to say, there must be something else carrying this extra energy. And that turned out to be some little tiny massless particle with no charge, which is a neutrino. 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 It was little. Right. So yes. It was a little one. Which, yeah. The Eno. The Eno makes yeah, it, makes it little. little. And neutra is neutral. Right. Yeah. Right. So there was the energy budget was not resolved. That's right. That's in the... There was always some leftover. So, yeah, yeah. okay. So is that the residual, the neutrino itself? Yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah. So that's a that's a that's a that's gangster really, prediction. That's badass. Right. If you say yeah. we're missing energy, therefore that, there's a particle with no charge that carried it away that we didn't detect. That's that's I mean, like making that's shit up. Re- that, <laughs> just totally. To, just to fill in the blank. Yeah. yeah. And it turned out to be exactly the case. That's oh yeah, for so sure. Wild. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's yeah. very cool, man. It is. <laughs> All right. So now tell me, the proton hits what to then make a shower of other particles? Another uh, proton. Another proton. Yeah. Okay. And so. It, it busted open the proton. Mm-hmm. And when I my classical knowledge of nuclear physics ends with the quarks that are inside. Yeah. But uh, I guess you can pair up quarks and make particles that are not protons but are lighter than protons? Yeah, yeah. So, well, pair them up, yes. I guess. Yeah, I, mean, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. So, I mean, from this reaction, from the proton-proton interaction, you end up, primarily you get muons. Oh, well, you'll get some pions. Primarily pions are the ones that, that interest me the most. There's, there's positive ones, negative ones, and neutral ones. The neutral ones with no charge, they immediately decay into two gamma rays, which is usually what we see. So there's a whole chart of what's going on there that you need to be fluent in. Otherwise, you don't know what the hell's going on. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs>